This is Scott Augustine for CardMirrors.com, and I am going to be resuming three Zoom tables at 500NL. So I'll start up these tables and see how we go from here. Checking back here to uh, call this turn rather happily. I think it's going to be just like he's going to assume I'm just folding a ton. And on that river, I'm going to, if he's really wide, no, hmm. I'm just going to check behind. I don't see me getting enough folds there. Uh, people seem to be really uh, happy to get to showdown with some of these hands that could be value bets somewhere on the turn or river once I give up the lead. Uh, not saying that one was necessarily a spot, but it seems like an overall trend where they're kind of just really happy to uh, not be put in a tough spot with kind of their marginal hands rather than trying to eke out EV. This guy uh, made a couple bit of a silly goose plays against me, so very happy getting in jacks there against him. It was a situation where he, I believe, flatted the uh, button to my cutoff open and then bluff raised at king high board with uh, ace four and then bet turn on queen and then the river was an ace I checked and he checked behind which was always fun um gonna bet here not thrilled about it though and then here versus this guy it's three bet and we don't really know much about him Seems to be not really doing much once people put money in the pot. Um, if you could see his, his, I don't know what this is. <laughs> like this, this makes it just so, it's so expensive to bluff that you have to be fairly value. Like you, can, so as, as your bet sizes increase, uh, you get to bluff more. Uh, but you also need, like, you get to bluff more parts of your range, uh, clearly, because it's less for them to call, so your bluffs are going to be more successful. But in the same token, like, on that board, I'm not sure how much, like, $60. I mean, specifically with pocket nines, I might be forced into a call with $60 or $50 that he bets. But to a pot size bet, I can fold and be pretty okay with it. Um, so maybe he's found a crack in the system there's a couple guys i can think of that are just so uh um against this guy i'm going to flat and probably not fold that flop i think i'm going to check raise the flop i think flop yes Um, I blocked the not flush draw, which is important with that play, and I also uh, block king queen and ace king quite significantly, as well as aces, obviously. And I'm not like you could obviously check call, but I think it just works slightly better as a bluff raise. And I'm not necessarily for betting there with uh, ace king out of position 100%, so I can easily balance that. Uh, and I think he was just getting a little bit out of line. He also, if you looked at his statistics, he was uh, not flatting at all in middle position so far. It was just three better folds, which is going to just put a lot more ace-jack, uh, queen-jack in his range, which obviously I'm ahead of, but I might not uh, like the situation to get to showdown. So I think you could debate, like, as long as you don't fold, I think it's okay there. Um, but I think you could debate whether a bluff raise or a... Uh, check call is better for our range there because you don't want because if you could do a bluff raise and then barrel off and he's going to fold like jacks that's great but then you're also barreling off into a king um, and you don't let him barrel on an ace or a heart you can do some things so I think I like my bluff raise I'm not entirely sold I like it better than a check call but at the time I just thought it was going to work a lot because he's going to be just a little bit out of line there for how much he should be. Like, you can't be 3-betting 10% to an under-the-gun range. It's just going to be too much.